Istanbul is a sprawling metropolis with stunning historical and cultural landmarks. But there's a quiet side where you can get lost on trails surrounded by greenery, escape the noise of city life and leave behind the hustle and bustle. One of the greenest places in Istanbul is the Belgrade Forest, where I've chosen to start my day with a run. It's located in the northwest neighborhood of Sarir, and it's a 5,500 hectare protected forest full of oak, beech, and chestnut trees. Hiking, biking, nature walks, and running are all options for a fun day out in the so-called lands of Istanbul. Here it's common to come across groups of people training. Burada İstanbul yoğunluğundan, İstanbul'un hayat zorluğundan insanın kendini dinlendirme, huzur bulmayı ve içe dönüşlüğünden hoşlanıyoruz doğal şeyinden. Şimdi burada insan geldiği zaman buraya kendi yeniliyor, kendini tekrar güne başlayıp kendini tekrar şehir hayatına hazırlayabiliyor. Ondan dolayı özellikle çok durum buraya getiriyorum. Kendini tekrar motive bulmaları için. There are several trails and tracks with workout equipment along the way. You can spend hours wandering around and appreciating the beauty of nature. The Belgrade Forest is just one of the many green areas of the city on the Bosphorus. Istanbul's most enchanting gardens are transformed by spring with a fresh vitality that breathes life into every corner. That's the case at Emirgan Park. At 325,000 square meters, it's one of the largest urban parks in the city. Every April, it hosts the Tulip Festival, where you can see the blooming varieties of tulips in different patterns. People come here to stroll, take pictures, or just have a picnic. Another location that you can't miss is the Ildiz Park, a beautiful garden complex set in a very large park of plants, trees and flowers, where you can enjoy stunning panoramic views of the Bosphorus. For those who want to escape the city noise, Prince's Islands, an archipelago of nine islands in the Sea of Marmara, is just a short ferry ride from the heart of Istanbul. In Buyukada, nostalgia greets you on the historic pier, and the refreshing air promises a rejuvenating getaway. This island, the biggest one in the archipelago, welcomes you with its frozen in time atmosphere. Here, fuel consuming vehicles are banned, but you can explore its picturesque streets by electric bus, bicycle, or on foot. Walking in its quiet streets feels like being transported to a different world. What's inherently special to all of these islands is they have this incredible cultural and historical heritage, as well as the, the exceptional fauna and flora that we very much enjoy. During the Ottoman Empire, Buyukada became a summer retreat for the wealthy Istanbulites, evidenced by its numerous ornate Victorian-style mansions. You can see buildings from all different particular architectural periods. It's like an open-air architectural museum. Of course, we have beautiful beaches as well, beautiful courses where people can run, or bike, so it's just a little heaven in itself. After a long uphill walk to the Aya Yorgi Church, you can admire the magnificence of Istanbul in the distance. Before I leave this place where time has stood still, there is something I want to do. Have a real Turkish coffee and learn how to make it. Turkish coffee, which was invented in the 16th century during the Ottoman Empire, is considered one of the world's oldest coffee brewing methods. In 2013, UNESCO recognized this deeply rooted tradition as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Turk coffee from Yemen, the Ground coffee and water are combined in a jetsve, a small copper pot. The most important thing is to heat the mixture slowly, until it's hot, but not boiling. To do so, you place the jetsve in a pan filled with hot sand. It's hot! Oh. Oh. <laughs> the sand takes total control of the heat to create the coffee's signature foam. Quite good. Uh, it's essential to savor this coffee slowly as it embodies the spirit of hospitality and leisure. I feel very lucky to have had the opportunity to reconnect with nature and to discover traditions in the incredible city of Istanbul. Goroshurus! <laughs>